Hello, this is David Allen, and you are watching Sporting Icons. Right, so post fight review to Daniel Dubois versus Nathan Gorman. Of course, this was on BT Sport, and this was for the British heavyweight title. Two prospects, two undefeated fighters. Now, before this fight, I predicted either a early knockout win for Daniel Dubois or a points win for Nathan Gorman. And without giving away the result right now, um, had this fight have gone the distance, I think Daniel Dubois would have won this one on points anyway. So Daniel Dubois was just way too good. Way too good. He out-muscled Gorman. Um, he out-strategized him. Everything that, that Gorman tried to do, Dan Dubois had an answer to. Now, don't get me wrong, I think the first round, arguably, maybe you could probably give that to Gorman. Dan Dubois didn't do too much at all. Round number two, complete reverse. It was a case of Gorman didn't do too much. But he did get a cut. I'm not too sure how the cut happened. Uh, but I don't know whether or not that played into how the rest of the fight was going. Don't know. The cut didn't look that bad, but how it feels, don't know. Maybe even just like, like a little drop of blood going into his eye could affect it. But either way, it is what it is. Round number three, Daniel Dubois just gets confident. He gets brave. Gorman doesn't know how to handle it. He gets hit with a cluster of punches and Gorman goes down. Now he gets up and he doesn't really look like he's in too much trouble, but you could pretty much sense from the body language that I think Gorman knew at that point he was going to lose the fight and it was only a matter of when, not if. Because from that moment on, Gorman didn't do too much, to be fair. And Daniel Dubois was bulldozing him. He was hitting him with some punishing jabs and big overhand rights. To be honest, I think Daniel Dubois was hitting Gorman at will. Anytime he wanted, he was doing it. Not saying that Daniel Dubois was 100% accurate, not at all. And I'm surprised he didn't go to the body a bit, um, a bit more than what Dubois did because I felt that the body was there for... Dubois to unload on. Either way, didn't really need it. And round number five, down Dubois just finishes off Nathan Gorman. Referee waves it off and what have you. Now, I know some people may say, but maybe the referee shouldn't have waved it off. In my opinion, I think, as I said, Gorman from round number three knew this fight was over. It was a case of when rather than if. And Gorman just wasn't fighting back. He, he, he couldn't handle the pressure and the power of Daniel Dubois. So, this fight didn't go too long at all, only five rounds. Dan Dubois wins by knockout. So congratulations to Dan Dubois. No shame for Nathan Gorman. We know that he did have some problems during camp, of course, with his son um, at the beginning of his camp. And only a few days ago, um, his wife gave birth to their second child, um, a daughter. So I don't know if any of this has had any kind of bearing on his performance. I don't know, to be honest. But either way, Dan Dubois deserved the victory. So congratulations to Daniel Dubois, Nathan Gorman. He'll come back, that's for sure. He'll come back. He's got that uh, that, uh, that traveller's fighting spirit, just that, that spirit left him in this particular fight at times. So anyway, big up to Daniel Dubois and the new British heavyweight champion. So drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next one.